All right, now it's time to get into ECW, ECW Hardcore ECW, Television, ECW, October 30th, ECW. 1999. Not Johnny, to be confused. why don't you, uh, yes. yeah, that's what I was say, tell oh. them the difference between ECW on TNN and ECW Hardcore Television. Well, ECW Hardcore TV was more of a local show. So, like, New York got it, Philly got it, probably Chicago got it. Uh, that was, like, way more local shit. That's the show I watched. I actually don't think I ever really watched ECW on TNN. I only, okay. I, I, I watched the real shit. I stayed up until <laughs> 11 p.m. to watch local ECW hardcore TV. Uh, and ECW on TNN was obviously the more, you know, nationwide fucking ECW show. So the show. local one was, like, Channel 7 or something? Shit like it, that, was, right? it was W, it was, like, WX something something 57. Yeah, yeah, it was local, local channels and, like, yeah, it was awesome, uh, and that's how I found ECW. Just, oddly enough, I found it like from that instead of on TNN. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think I don't know the order of the airings though. Like, I don't know if the TNN show happened and then like the hardcore TV show would happen this like after it in the week, or I don't know the order. The TNN, of TNN, there was like, well, I was gonna say this episode aired, and then there was a hardcore TV episode that aired after this one. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, this um, is from this is from a show called Reenter the Sandman. Yeah, that was the I, I was name of the say, event, right? Yeah, yeah. Ahead. I was going to say that t the TNN show had its own tapings. Um, okay, the, hard, the hardcore, right. yeah. TNN had its own tapings, and especially later, they went to center stage for like all the TNN tapings. They did, um, yeah. But hardcore TV was more their actual events that they ran in the ECW arena, um, right? And then other places, and then they would pick and choose matches to put in there, and then they'd have Joey Styles kind of act like because it, it always looked like it was a. The, like the same show because they always just the ECW arena never changed. It just always looked the exact same. Same so. set yes. and all. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so right. you were able to do that. So yeah, Hardcore TV was kind of pulling from that and then putting in promos they would record like after the show or whatever the case may be. Yeah. Uh, and kind of just giving you matches and shit like that. So um, it, I mean, and, and you know, they'd also use it's kind of like uh, like NWA, like Mid Atlantic or anything. You know, like yeah, yeah, yeah What they yeah. would do is, but yeah, it's a little different because they would record the matches, but they would. It was just a platform for them to be like, hey here's where we're going, you know what I mean? Like, come out right. to these shows, you know, and uh, and then they you'll could see, do some of that footage. Either way, you'll be on TV. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. Something here. Um, and I'm pretty sure both shows fed each other's angles. Like, I don't think it were, like, split. It was, like, you know, because uh, this episode we show here, like, there's stuff that, oh, this happened on ECW on TNN and fucking Poughkeepsie, and then it yeah, feeds yeah. back to Hardcore TV in Philly. Hardcore yeah, TV also, was the popular one, by the way, just so everybody knows. Like, yeah, TNN, yeah, it was. Hardcore TV is where all the real shit happened, yeah. Right. Yeah, that that was their day to day. Uh, for because I was reading on this the Rihanna and Sandman, so they aired part of this on ECW on TNN episode number eleven, and then they also aired on episode three forty, three thirty one, and three forty three okay. of Hardcore TV. So sure, TNN would get pissed, Tony, if if they did that too often. Yeah, because they yeah, wanted I'm, everything. I'm sure right? later on. I'm sure later on they got more original content. This, like this was like early TNN, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm TNN. Yes, TNN got pissed because they were like, we don't want rehash content like yeah we want new shit new. yeah 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 and i think at one point like they sent back an episode of something and then like paulie pissed off just sent them like a show that only had rvd versus jerry Lynn on it from it another was the show. very like first a pay one it was the was very it? first tnn episode wow yeah. holy shit yeah. that's insane also what? tony the uh the re-enter the sandman thing so i think how it worked was they would like just say like I don't know if the ECW shows had a name until it was put out on like VHS. Yeah, yeah, because they're not because this was same as surprise show. Right, right, right. right. So, so I yeah, think it was just like come out after. ECW TV taping or like you know maybe like November. No, I guess they had the pay per views too. So it was like you know just TV taping. But then come when they'd sell it on TV, VHS, yeah, they would have like a name. So Reenter the Same. Yeah, even sure. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, they got the most out of this Reenter the Same show they possibly could. They put on fucking five different <laughs> episodes of <laughs> TV. So that's why smart not? as hell though, man. Yeah, like yeah. they were. They were uh, getting the most out of every taping. Uh, before we get into the review, let's take a look at the observers from around the time. Observer from November 1st, 1999, uh, talking about the return of the Sandman, actually. The return of the Sandman to the ECW arena and a surprise on October 23rd drew what was described as one of the largest pops in the history of the promotion. While Paul Heyman has been burying Sandman even before <laughs> he was fired by WCW <laughs> and claiming at one point just a few weeks ago that under no circumstances would he ever bring him back, feeling always was among everyone close to him that if he was available, he'd be back immediately. Immediately. Uh, with Sandman still under contract to WCW through December 7th, his actual contract figures were a three-year deal at $245,000 per year, plus he received a $10,000 signing bonus last September. So $4,700 per week. If WCW fires him immediately because of breach of appearing at the ECW show, he'll be walking away from more than $28,000 of money he'd get just sitting at home. 
which I didn't realize he was still in contract at the time. Yeah, I didn't wow, either. That is crazy. Yeah, holy shit. He uh, was making a lot of fucking money at WCW to do nothing. Dude, absolute dude. He was just he, he he was doing less than he did in ECW on WCW TV somehow. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, crazy. that's unreal. Really, probably goes easier to, matches, right? Yeah, I mean, it goes to show like how insane, like wrestling, like. You know, we've talked about it before. We've talked about a lot of WCW and, of course, a lot of contracts sure. and all that stuff. But, you know, wrestling before WCW was like, you come out, you get $500 a shot. We have a handshake deal. Like, yes. that's pretty much it. Um, right. Especially for lower end. Like, the top guys in WWF at the at the time were signed with downsides and, like, stuff like that. But, like, you mm-hmm. know, like, Al Snow, Hardcore Holly, Crash, any of those guys mm-hmm. coming in, you get $500 a night. And, like, if you if they don't have you on the loop. Thank you, you, sir. Then you don't make any fucking money. Like yeah, if, you, if yeah, you're not on the fucking loop, work. you don't yeah. make any fucking money. Um, but then yeah. WCW changed that, and then of course, uh, throughout the rest of wrestling history, uh, it changed forever. So, uh, and yeah, Sam, I didn't know Sam and also the signing bonus thing is pretty sweet too. He was fucking dude, was awesome. yeah. right there, man. Yeah, that's where I watched the shoot where he talked about it. Like he was like yeah. just making hand over fist fucking money. He's like, hey, was he shirtless on a couch? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just chilling, man. <laughs> He's just goddamn chilling. The idea that Heyman was bringing him in for only around fifteen hundred uh, per week on the surface sounds more than suspicious when you're talking about a wrestler with a family. Uh, Heyman had constantly used Fullington as an example of someone who walked out with no notice that would never be welcome back. As an example to the rest of the boys that if they took offers elsewhere and couldn't cut it, there was no job waiting for him. But the reality always figured into the wrestlers who can draw money, <laughs> and Sandman was a huge merchandise draw for ECW and always get back into the company. Yeah, man, he so, was yeah. like the number. Anytime anything was like starting to go down. We're putting Sandman up. And he's like the most wrestler wrestler. Like he's like he is like the epitome of a wrestler to me. Not in the terms of like technical, but like if I see Sandman like that's a fucking professional wrestler yeah, right there. Look at this be. guy. Yeah, he's he only can exist in that world. <laughs> yeah. He can't have another job. Like him being a construction <laughs> worker was crazy to me. Like him on a beam putting a house together. <laughs> the With fuck a beer and a cigarette. Here. That'd be crazy. Yeah, holy shit. He it's so, it's so crazy to me that a lot of those guys like biggest times were like 96, 97. And like mm. we're in 99 and like they're still the top guys yeah. like here and wcw still want some and wcw wants some too. Like, yeah 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 that's that's pretty nuts observer november 15th 1999 in new japan news Meltzer writes in a really strange story it was announced on november 9th in japan that bill goldberg's opponent for the january 4th tokyo dome show would be rick steiner uh, and that Bill Bush from WCW would be attending the show. Meltzer says it makes absolutely no sense to bring Goldberg in and not put him against a Japanese wrestler. So my feeling is that WCW didn't trust and wouldn't allow its star in the ring against anyone but a WCW wrestler. New Japan's original yeah, plan yeah, was to debut. About that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even hey, start, that, don't start yeah. on that shit. Yeah, hey, hey, that, <laughs> well, New Japan's original plan, boys, was to debut Kenzo Suzuki oh. against Goldberg on this show. What? what a goddamn debut match for That's Kenzo crazy. Suzuki that would have been, man. Goldberg would have been over, but well, Yeah, it would have been a good match. Yeah, Goldberg is a hell of a worker, too. So Yeah, and Kenzo <laughs> would have went over clean, I imagine, in four. <laughs> with yeah. the claw. With the jackhammer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in WCW news, Dusty Rhodes and Sonny Ono are said to be no longer with the company. I sorry to break your boys' hearts. Oh man, you guys love oh, those man. two. Uh, the story is that Dusty Rhodes made a play for Vin- those two. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we, we pattern our booking around these two guys. <laughs> uh, the story is that Dusty Rhodes made a play for Vince Russo's spot, which failed, and he quit on <laughs> November first after Russo had nixed the idea of Dustin Rhodes' gimmick, uh, which was to be a cross between Undertaker and Goldust. You might know him as Seven. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's a legendary one. I don't know why the hell I have him. <laughs> it was proposed that Rhodes do an angle with his father, playing off their legitimate background problems, which Dusty Rhodes, I guess, didn't like, so he left. Um, and Sonny Ono got the position in wrestling because he was tight with Bischoff and knew, uh, it says, Meltzer says, knew some Japanese, so he was heavily involved in the deal with New Japan. However, New Japan and virtually all the Japanese talent he came in contact with ended up hating him. <laughs> <laughs> Except for Mudo. <laughs> <laughs> he loves that motherfucker, man. <laughs> Dude, I didn't know this is fucking crazy, actually. The name Ready to Rumble for the WCW movie involves striking a deal with uh, the Buffer brothers, Bruce and Michael Buffer. Uh, since Michael has the phrase trademarked for commercial usage, the word is that WCW paid Michael Buffer $500,000 <laughs> for his appearance in the movie and the rights to use the phrase. Meltzer Holy says, so much shit. for keeping the budget in check. <laughs> yeah, isn't that crazy, man? They made... 
call it something else? No, fuck no, dude. That, you got a plan, movie? baby? No, you got a plan, <laughs> you go through Nitro it. Nitro the movie would have been sick, bro. Nitro the movie would fine. You got a plan, go through it. <laughs> See it through. That's Five a fucking vision, baby. You know what I mean? 500 grand at WCW? I don't give a fuck. Here you go. Yeah, take this shit. <laughs> Yeah, let's get rid of dude. What do you think, uh, Logan Paul and KSI? That shit paid Michael Buffer for that oh, show. Yeah, I don't know, man. I bet it was whatever number he said. God, it probably is, yeah, right? You're right. You're dude, right. when you, no when you know when you hit up Mike, when you hit up Michael Buffer, you just say yes, yeah. yes, sir. You know what you're getting yourself this into. Guy, we pay whatever. <laughs> The odds of Vince McMahon starting a no-holds-barred promotion in Japan are sadly uh, not to be true. I didn't know this was a rumor, though. Vince was going to start a shoot fight company in Japan, or at least there was preliminary talks in the past of McMahon starting a no-holds-barred company in the U.S. Both his schedule as tight as it is, nothing serious came of it uh, at any point. Basically, the only talk was a meeting months ago with Ken Shamrock and Barry Bloom, uh, and there hasn't been another meeting about it. But there was a time, there's a universe, a timeline, where Vince McMahon had a no- What if? (laughs) (laughs) that's my biggest what if and what if Tony was there as a regular guy (laughs) well uh, yeah he's gotta be pizza guy or he's not working (laughs) yeah I'm just guy yeah what's the like okay so that definitely would have done better than the XFL yes right especially Especially if you did it in Japan yeah man that's uh yeah I mean you're right it probably would have and I imagine Shane McMahon would have been fucking thrilled because I feel like he pitched to Vince to just buy UFC when they were like underground anyway wasn't that the story yeah Shane McMahon back then was just Tony Khan now you're right <laughs> <laughs> holy fuck he was just he was Tony Khan except Vince said no <laughs> all the time <laughs> wow. never said yes actually wow. <laughs> not once not fucking once ran him off <laughs> Wow, that's insane. Uh, the Observer from November 22nd, 1999 in WCW News, there was an incident that allegedly took place on November 6th at a Kid Rock concert in Tampa oh, no. involving the following people. Randy Savage, who is 47 years old here. Gorgeous George, who is his girlfriend. And also, Molly Holly and... Michael Hegstrand, you might know oh him my. as Road Warrior. <laughs> this is an angle. <laughs> <laughs> That's what uh, Meltzer said. He said it could be, but the report is here that there are various stories to exactly what happened, but there was a fight, and Macho Man either sucko- sucker punched Hegstrand <laughs> or knocked him out, or they simply traded punches and Macho Man got the better of the situation. Uh, supposedly, Road Warrior Hawk is denying this and he has a different version of this story. Uh, <laughs> Hawk's story is that he, <laughs> him and I guess uh, Randy Savage said something about him or his wife on a radio show. I think it was Bubba the Love Sponge, actually. Oh that he my said god. Sure it was. I'm <laughs> sure it was. I'm pretty that's sure crazy, it was. Man. Bubba or the Man Love Cow or so, you know, I'm, I'm almost too. positive. I, man I, Cow! I, I, that's insane, Tony. <laughs> oh, man. So Hawk's story is that the two of them had a fight. He said uh, he saw Randy Savage, stuck his hand out to shake his hand, and Savage slapped his hand away. I want to shake your hand. And <laughs> 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 the charity. <laughs> uh, so Savage slapped his hand away, then sucker punched him. Hawk then stated he wasn't phased by the punch, grabbed Savage, and was about to beat the shit out of him when people pulled him apart. Hawk said that Molly Holly and Gorgeous George assaulted his wife, causing her to bleed, and claimed that because of that, he's talked to Lores about suing Randy Savage. All right. Well, Is that a Kid Rock concert? Yeah. No, no, I heard that. <laughs> In 99, there was the angle with Molly Holly that she wanted to be with Randy Savage, but, uh... Yeah. You know, so... Yeah, you're right. I, I assume that, uh... That well, was, this doesn't play out on TV, it doesn't seem like. Well, no you know, way. it could have been one of those things where, like, go do this, and then if it picks up any, we'll do something with yeah. it on TV type shit, you know what I mean? That's true. Michael Headstrand's had a tough career here, James. You gotta give him some credit, man. Yeah, I mean, he definitely has. Um, <laughs> you know, he did apologize on WWF television, which I think helped quite a bit with his, uh... What? <laughs> Without the public use it, but yeah, I mean, it's not, uh, it doesn't pick up anymore for him. I'll tell you that much. No, sadly not. Until I mean, he gets to XWF. He, oh, there, thank you so much. Okay, just making sure you did. Because he also, I think, uh, yeah, that's XWF is where him and uh, Animal give a uh, dap to the goddamn Johnsons. Yeah, the they got to <laughs> they they beat the, uh, the nasty boys again, too. So. <laughs> What a struggle that must have been. <laughs> uh, a couple more things here. Vampiro was yelled at by several agents because he gave Berlin such a weak 
uh, looking chain shot on Thunder during an interference spot, which I just wanted to note that this is true. You should be yelled at for this, and you should completely just beat the fucking dog shit out of your opponent <laughs> at any given opportunity so you don't get in trouble. You uh, have the chance, backstage. swing. <laughs> <laughs> if you get the chance, take it. You sh- you'd rather apologize for fucking hurting somebody than looking like a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> swing, motherfucker, swing. WCW was also looking at getting Bob Holly when his contract was about to become due, but WWF signed him back up. What if? Oh, <laughs> man. How do you like Bob Holly was in WCW. He'd probably been in NWO. He would have he would have swung. <laughs> he would have <laughs> yeah, backstage he repeatedly. Yeah. He would have beat up gorgeous Georgia at Kid Rock concert or whatever. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Michael Ekstrand and Molly Holly. He's like, you're my cousin Molly in her with Alabama that was, slam. That was the gimmick is Bob Holly just swings on gorgeous Georgia at the Kid Rock concert and Hawk was there with his wife to stop it from That's his debut? <laughs> yeah. Randy Savage, was, Randy Savage Randy. wasn't part of it, but he was just, he was just at the concert anyway. So like, I guess we'll put him in there too. Okay. Randy Savage was Pour it all out above the last part. <laughs> yeah, I just saw this, brother. Uh, and last thing here, the current plan now is to keep Juventud Guerrera uh, in WCW and do an illegal immigrant angle with him. Okay. All, yep. <laughs> although depending, yeah, you know, all right. that's all right. Although depending on this, upon the severity of a shoulder injury, this could also be out the window. The idea was actually suggested by a fan on the WCW Internet Show, and Russo decided to do it, where they decided to use Guerrera after all. Uh, after all, but he can't produce a green card and he's running from the authorities. Uh, Meltzer says, actually, that's the first step in the storyline that may get controversial since the end result was scheduled to be Hooventud falling in love with a transvestite bodyguard like the Mark Henry angle. So Vince Russo is just fucking, uh, you know, just just fucking swinging for the fences here. Cooking on all cylinders here, man. (laughs) Somehow, the Michael Hegstrand, Randy Savage angle, and this one both didn't make it to TV, James. What's that about? When was the Mark Henry? When was fucking sexual it's chocolate? Just sexual. Uh, <laughs> chocolate. Same, it's Get like it like ju- it's the same year because Russo goes in ninety nine. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say because they do this kind of with Steiner uh, in ninety nine too, where in WCW, um, do they? Where he's like, yeah, where he's with the ladies a lot. Oh, yeah, he's addicted to yeah. uh, having sex, sex with ladies backstage. Yes, yes. Yeah. Of um, it, it, it ends up backfiring on him and. Uh, they they have him tied up backstage at one point too. Um, oh, that's right. I do remember that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They so. didn't want to give Scott Steiner the green card angle here. <laughs> no, I guess not. Scotty, the powers that's that weird. be. Damn, always uh, fucking stifling creativity. That the powers that be in the West Texas Rednecks, baby. 99 is a great year. (laughs) The the West Texas Rednecks were on every week. Every week. (laughs) Always doing the same fucking thing. Always saying the same fucking thing. And they were the faces. Uh, Yeah, Yeah, that shit was crazy, man. How are they the fucking faces? They're always talking to fucking the powers that be backstage. (laughs) Everybody's backstage is just the powers that be. This is the Harris Brothers. You're right. <laughs> well, there you go. That was it for the Observer. Let's talk about ECW Hardcore TV for October 30th, 1999. All right. Now it's time to get into this Hardcore Woo! TV episode here. ECW. Uh, ECW. 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 We start ECW. out ECW, ECW. Joey Styles in the ring here. He's going to welcome us to the ECW arena for Hardcore Television. Dude, everyone. This is like, uh, it must It must have been a dream to have this kind of crowd, right? Like, they were. Unless you fucked the Bel- move up. Yeah, I guess you're yeah, right. No, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Or you were a woman, I guess it probably was horrible. Or if you were uh, yeah, a bad like, wrestler. Yeah, or if you were a manager, or you were fat. Yeah, it probably wasn't <laughs> fucking good at all. Like if I sucked to work, actually. <laughs> You never got paid. The crowd yeah. hated you. <laughs> fucking well, sucks here. But if you did something cool, Tony, yeah. you know. You were a legend. Little, yeah, but yeah, if you uh, still about top rope, you're fucking done, and you'll never get paid for it, and your life is over. Don't be fat dude, either, or a woman. There's a, or <laughs> there's, it's crazy looking at this crowd, because I recognize, like, so, like, there's a season to be security guard in the crowd. At one point during the first match... I couldn't fucking believe my eyes. Dewey Donovan in a CZW shirt is in the front <laughs> fucking row. I was like, what the fuck? That's pretty cool. Yeah, this is pretty crazy. There's a guy that looks exactly like Kurt Robinson on hard cam. It was Doppelganger. <laughs> Doppelganger Kurt Robinson. So what the hell is he doing here, man? Don West is here too, I think. He's <laughs> Don West always up. is there. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, and this is... uh. Welcomes us to Hardcore TV, of course, yes. Uh, sign Guy Dudley joins Joey Styles in the ring and- Fuck is, you, Sign Guy! He is pissed. <laughs> you, Sign <laughs> Guy! He's fucking pissed. The crowd is fucking pissed. Everyone here is pissed. He's pissed. They're calling him Sign Guy Dudley. 
And Joey Styles says, we want to call you Lou. <laughs> <laughs> he said, listen, I want you to hold that mic and you shut up. Let me talk. And he tells shut him, the fuck shut up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Dude, it's still going on here. Joey Styles is tremendous here. He keeps like playing to the hard cam. So he tells him to shut up and Joey turns the hard cam, shrugs, and then gives him the mic. <laughs> it's pretty funny. There's also a, there's two signs on hard cam. One says, Taz fears Triple H. And the other one says, May Young sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see that one. The there was one like a, during the show that said like he was selling a pool table or something. Oh, that was <laughs> yeah, his phone number? Yeah, it had like it was like forty hundred bucks or best offer. Oh, <laughs> yeah. that's awesome! That's tremendous. That was OG Craigslist. Well, Louis yeah, dangerously, or sorry, Lou here, Lou is Craig <laughs> from his list. Uh, Lou says he came to this building as a fan six years ago, and he did everything he could to become a part of ECW, and he he drove the guys to the show, and he took the pictures, and he set up the chairs, and Joey says you paid he, your dues. <laughs> yeah, you paid your dues and Lou says I wanted to be a part of this because I knew it was special and for four years I was a part of the hottest act in pro wrestling which was of course the Dudleys the crowd then starts chanting stop your bitching <laughs> <laughs> fat fucking yeah, yeah like, buddy why don't you put the hat on <laughs> he says that team set the world on fire and made great names for themselves and left me in the shadows but tonight I'm going to make a name for myself and I'm going to prove to all these people that I am someone and he puts on an ECW hat. And he says, I am the greatest <laughs> manager in pro wrestling today. Then he puts on a big jacket. <laughs> and he says, my name just happens to be Lou E. Dangerously. And he holds up a cell phone. And Joey Styles, again, tremendous here. He looks at what I thought he was looking at the hard cam, very confused. Then he looks back to Louie Dangerously. Then he walks to the ropes and stares out at the hard cam. Then Back to Louis Dangerously, and then the camera shows it's fucking Paul Heyman <laughs> on the stage. <laughs> it's Joey Styles trying to figure out who's the real one. The crowd starts chanting, "Fuck him up, Paulie! Fuck him up!" <laughs> it shows Paulie in his nameplate. It says, "The man that runs this thing." Is that what it said? <laughs> He's, He's the, the one who runs the team. This thing. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. It says that, that like I, I've been watching like hardcore TV when I go to bed sometimes. Yeah. And uh the shit le legit says that almost every single time Paul Heyman shows up on the show. Dude, we we the, need that. This man runs this thing. <laughs> we need that for the pod. Put that under our names. The boys that run this thing. <laughs> Thank you, Beefy. <laughs> um uh Lou E dangerously says, I have a really big announcement. If these people let me make it, well Joey tonight, I'm gonna confirm all the internet rumors. Dirt sheets and rumors? There's yes. no way! Oh, shit. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> I'm going to bring back a former heavyweight champion of the world that no one has ever forgotten. And he points to the stage and then very dubbed music plays. <laughs> no, the this crowd's, is right. <laughs> the crowd's very confused <laughs> at the dubbed music. <laughs> and it takes a minute, but Mikey Whipwreck in $100 Bills t-shirt <laughs> comes God. out to the ring. Yeah, Regular hair. Young buck, Mikey. Dude, normal. It is unbelievable that guys, like, guys got signed from like Sandman, fucking Raven, uh, Mikey, all those guys got signed from ECW looking like just the shittiest versions yeah. of themselves possible. Yeah, and they right. come back looking like clean, normal, good, people shaped, in society. Normal. <laughs> 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 like, it's like, oh, what happens here, man? Goddamn. Yeah, man. It takes Mikey like a legit like 60 seconds to come out here. They're playing this music forever, man. <laughs> long ass intro. I'm trying to find out what song it was because I imagine it. <laughs> That's like the worst. Uh, shout out, future wrestlers, please tone down the intro unless you're over, brother. Yeah. <laughs> or if people know yeah. it. <laughs> if you people got know 15 it. at most, man. Get your ass out the curtain. <laughs> oh, dude. He comes out to bomb track by Rage Against the Machine. That's a long ass uh, intro. Yeah. Oh, it took fucking forever. <laughs> and like the crowd's just like sitting there looking like, huh? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's like five minutes of that but then it cuts straight to ass cheeks so that's great <laughs> dude the biggest <laughs> ass possible being spanked by Don Marie and Lita that's, that's fucking awesome dude this is the cat fight wars of 99 that's what they, they continue <laughs> they call it yeah yeah, it's Mikey in his $100 shirt back in ECW, and then it cuts immediately to a big ass. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that's fucking awesome, dude. If I saw that on TV, I'd be like, holy shit, this is like... <laughs> I'm not too low. This is the most lit shit I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, Catfight Wars of 99 continue. Also, one-on-one -on -one tonight, the new effing show, Jerry Lynn, takes on the Japanese buzzsaw Tajiri, and the Impact players challenge the world tag team champions, Tommy Dreamer and Raven. Yeah, for some reason in my head, I had them like, mixed up like what I thought was going to go longer. 
And oh uh, yeah, me too. Yeah, me I too. was like, oh, the title match will get a little bit more extra time, but they had I totally forgot why we even watched this episode when we were when I was like watching it again. I was like, oh yeah, okay, never mind. <laughs> oh shit, yeah. <laughs> Just get right into the bullshit, and I'm not giving just the credible fifteen. Get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they don't have much of a fucking choice in about a year. He's going to get 15. He's probably might get 25. Might get a half hour. There ain't no one left Dude, on his fucking is show. breathing down their necks. <laughs> You're he right, man. The jerseys and the man. rumors are right around yeah. So uh, the first show. match of the evening here is Mike Awesome versus Mikey Whipwreck for the ECW world title. Yes. Which, uh, dude, Mike Awesome. Is insane is an insane looking human being, man. He might be from space. There's not <laughs> many. I don't know if anyone else has ever looked like this dude. Not just a no, wrestling, just in real no life. No way. I don't. I don't think so, man. He should have went to the UFC and fight Gerard Gordo. <laughs> I think that would have been did. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, shit. I get what you did there. I fucking see this. Yeah, you damn right, baby. Yeah. By the way, before that, <laughs> <laughs> you like that. Before, before that, <laughs> hey, before that, they uh, he said uh, there was a graphic that said if you miss this year's November to remember, it'll be a regret. You never forget. Like that shit. I might like we might start too. off the DBW shows like that. If you miss DPW Live Three, fuck you, man. For real. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. Like, you're having, fuck From you. The boys that run the team. <laughs> Dude, I, I, the ECW intro, by the way, I love it. I love it because it's pure. It's just it the is. cool ass ECW song. There's no like fading. There's no like like ed- editing really. It's just clips over a cool ass song. Every era of ECW, like a ton of different camera qualities. <laughs> it's just yeah, you're our right. Coolest shit possible in an intro video. I love it. It is very cool and like especially in an era where music videos were very very popular. Yes. And especially on hardcore TV, they don't ever show them on Peacock or anything. But hardcore Bullshit. TV had a ton of music videos especially at the end uh, a lot of the hardcore tvs they play music videos they don't have like um, any of them on the peacock version they no, cut them all out but that's fucking brutal you yeah, can find them like on they... youtube if you fu- if you look up like ecw hardcore tv music videos and shit um they would literally <laughs> they would take the music video from something it's else them with footage right Splice it with footage yeah and they, i love that they would put something on the bottom like that like they got permission or something they did not get permission yeah yeah the the entire raven dreamer feud was encapsulated in every nirvana music video possible <laughs> that shit was awesome though you know it and was, like way it ahead was. of its time when it when it came to yeah, stuff like dope. that so um, but Mike Austin's out here with Judge Jeff Jones, who is the judge. <laughs> you got a problem with this? Dude, that's pretty much what Joey Styles says. Yeah, is the judge. Yeah, he's the fucking judge. <laughs> Him and his little bangs. Mike Austin's the executioner, man. Like, this is the a hell of a gimmick here. Um, judge Jeff Jones, a lot of the times, doesn't really say much. Mike Awesome actually says the most words out of anybody. <laughs> right. Fucking yeah. Dude, I'm going like- to fucking kill you. <laughs> Judge there Jones like, be, yeah, I agree. Yeah, you and bangs the gavel. Yeah, dude, there might not be a better taunt in wrestling than Mike Awesome pointing to his stomach. Yes, even dude. To, yeah. with, with or without title, right? Fucking, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but the fucking yeah, because his arms are crazy. Like his arms it's, are it's nuts, long and big. Yeah, it's just sweet. Um, I awesome. wish I don't know if any video game that I, I don't think so has had the taunt. Where like it, you point straight down like that. I don't think so. I mean, it probably is in the you know the ECW ones, but okay, not well, like that's, a mod, first like, off. That's <laughs> yeah, well, that's yeah. all. Don't even get me started on the ECW games, dude. Please, uh, okay, thank you. Because Johnny Yuma says that engine was good, and he's wrong. What? He's wrong. The acclaimed engine. He likes that engine. Oh, oh wow. no way! The he's fucking a, he's no don't have head, attitude though. war zone. Fucking the ECW oh, games. Oh uh, yeah, I wonder they were what, dog shit. Yeah, that, I mean, I, I I wonder what that would look like today. Like, I can't imagine that claim could re- like. I can't imagine that exists in this realm today. You know, what, anything like just that. that. Like engine? just yeah, just that engine or like anything like <laughs> yeah. or cl- claim games that are like that. Oh, you know wow, what I mean? Yeah, like, sure. Everything has to be so triple A crazy nowadays to even like. Yeah. You're not even making out the, the fucking budget. first month. Yeah, you're not Dude, even no. making out the first month. Yeah. Back in the day, you could just license stuff and put it out. Like PlayStation One, PlayStation Two. Like, yeah, you could just license. If you had a license, you were like, oh fuck, I'm making some money off this shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. How, what do you think it costs to make like a PS2 game now? Think you can still do it? Well, yeah, we talked about that before. I don't know. I, I definitely like you could get like a dev kit, right? And like, I don't I know. Think like, so. it, it I imagine so, right? Because like I. I'd play the shit out of that. Yeah, if someone like came out and like just said like, "Hey, we're gonna release a PlayStation Two wrestling game like right now," I'd be like, "Oh shit, I'll buy it." Okay. I, and I'm buying it, and I'm fucking yeah, playing it. Cool. Yeah, 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 I don't know what the logistics it. of that look like, but I'm sure somebody, so I'm sure somebody follow, that follows us there, something about game development or something like yeah, that. Yeah, any of you guys know, uh, you know, hit your boys up. 
Yeah, we if, if we can if we can release a fucking PlayStation Two game <laughs> right would. now, we <laughs> would do that. Crazy, that yeah. goes fucked up. Let us know. We'll charge for the ISO, or you can get a physical. Yeah, come on, where's Ben? Yeah, that should be awesome, dude. Uh, so Mike Austin's out here with Judge Jeff Jones. He, uh, by the way, is AEW's YouTube guy. That's right. Is yeah. he still? You think? I think I don't so. Know he, I think okay, he is. Man. I haven't heard okay. otherwise. Sure. Okay. Oh, you I, never. I, I you knew. didn't know that, Tony? I guess I just never. Yeah. 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 Thought about it. Yeah, he uploads the YouTube videos and shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, but Mikey, of course, is out here with Lou E. Dangerously. <laughs> what a rib. <laughs> Joey Styles says that when they announce him. <laughs> and uh, Mike Awesome fucking dog walks Mikey Whipwreck <laughs> for a goddamn 10 minutes. Like, it's crazy, man. Dude, I legit wrote down halfway through. Paul Heyman said, welcome back, Mikey. Now Mike Awesome's going to kill you for five minutes. <laughs> that shit was Just, awesome, too, man. Like, it, Dude, he it, gave Mikey a little, and it was enough to like make it feel like he had a little life in him, but this was a Mike Awesome showcase match, and it was, yeah, sweet. Well, it was sweet, dude. Yeah, yeah, you get like he just meets up with Mikey backstage. And says, I'm gonna do all my fucking cool <laughs> shit, and then you can do like a fucking Frankenstein. And I'm gonna fucking kill you for real. <laughs> you are that's, dying, dude. That's awesome, man. It is. He goes for the Frankenstein, or kicks out of one cow. Fuck you. I'm gonna kill you, dude. Dude, close line <laughs> kicks out of one again. This is like goddamn, man. Like, this is awesome. You get nothing. Plus, I hit you with the chair, jump over the guardrail, do all my shit. That's Tony. You're it's it, but it's it's like it's so weird because like usually squashes don't have that kind of excitement, but Mike Awesome is such a freak of nature that like he just has to do his four moves and the crowd's shit in their pants. He's see dub. He see dub. Well, you, you never, never know, know, he's know what the do. fuck he's gonna do. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, what I'm saying. You yeah, never wow. fucking know. He's scary. He's fucking awesome. Dude. He's awesome. He is awesome. And Mike. <laughs> <laughs> What if what he if wasn't, Mike, though? Yeah, what if he wasn't? No, that's a question for a Q&A for a different time. Dude, Mike Awesome made you stop forget like liking wrestling, you said, right? The Miz? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. The Miz. Dude, he stopped Mike believing. Awesome. If, dude, Mike Awesome made you believe dude, and Awesome Miz made you awesome. not believe. <laughs> Miz Awesome is fucked up, man. So Mike make that like, and Awesome. Dude, someone make that on a video game, Miz Awesome, and it's just <laughs> Mike Awesome, but as the Miz. <laughs> He does. He does the taunt, the dirt taunt, <laughs> and, the, and the ball balls taunt. taunt yeah. <laughs> the ball taunt is fucking crazy. God yeah, damn, that is absurd. Uh, so Mikey Whipwreck, dude, the match starts off awesome. No pun intended. He pie faces. <laughs> no, we said we had legend, a legendary right. amount of awesome said in this segment, which is that's awesome. That's <laughs> real shit, man. Come on, boy, let me get one fucking fucking. Come on, get the goddamn. Let me get one. Yeah, what time? Yeah, what time? yeah. That's, that's awesome. shit, man. Come on, this is really this is a boys' match. Come on, absolutely. The boys watching the ting. <laughs> <laughs> not for real. <laughs> We're the boys watching the ting. <laughs> My costume was Mister Not for Real. <laughs> What a beast. <laughs> Mikey goes for a leapfrog and Mike Awesome catches him in the air and throws him. <laughs> Dude, he doesn't even get halfway over him. He just catches a bear like immediately. Yeah. It's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's awesome, right. Tony. Yeah, that's that right. Come awesome. on. Awesome. God damn it, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, James, I'm pretty sure Jeeves is sitting at ringside. I don't know if you noticed that. No, I didn't see Jeeves. Yeah, Simon oh. Diamond's Jeeves. He's, He's hanging out, guy. chilling. He's like, he's I got his ass whooping up close. <laughs> Time keeper in a suit. He's doing, he's doing his sweet, job, man. bro. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, James! <laughs> yeah! I told you, this match for the boys. Exclusively. <laughs> so Mike Awesome dives, uh, goes for a dive, Mikey moves, and then Awesome dives on the apron onto him, fucking hits him with a chair, bumps him in the crowd, hits him with... The most fucked up Alabama slam ever in the ring. Just He's so gnarly. So sends awesome. him to hell. I gotta I got be honest with you. Watching this made me consider for a second, like pitching to you guys that uh, we just take the rules out of DPW. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just no DQs. Yeah, just no DQs all the time. No DQs yeah. all the time. Like, there could be a guy that it. does that. He's well, like, well, a, about know, it. like, if Raven's it's ringside, rules. it should be legal, you know? If it's just yeah. sitting there, like, it should be legal, right? Yeah, maybe you're right. That's true. By the way, oh, we never talked about this, by the way, because I imagine this is the same ring. We use this ring that they're wrestling in for DPW Live 3. Oh, yeah, we did. We never we never talked about that, did we? We never talked about Yeah, we got that. Shout out to Remarkable Wrestling. Yeah. They were really uh, nice, too. Thank you for, super, for coming out. Super nice, super helpful. Uh, we uh, used their ring for DPW Live 3 in Jersey, and it's the same. It's the original 
ECW ring, the same one Bam Bam and Taz went through, probably the same one that Mike Whipwreck is getting his shit pushed in here yeah, on. Right. <laughs> that's awesome. Unfuck. That's crazy. Balls Mahoney's uh, wife was there. That isn't that fucking crazy. Yeah, that balls, is fucking I, we nuts. We talked to Balls Mahoney's wife. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, man, just that is a great show. So you never. So if you were at that show, you saw history. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. And if you don't watch it, fuck you, man. That, yeah, that's what's going to say at the beginning. That's the boys. <laughs> <laughs> we fucked the sting. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking uh, Mike Awesome goes to awesome bomb Mikey Whipwreck over the top through a table on the floor. <laughs> By the way, Mikey counters with Arana, and Mike Awesome's answer to this is immediately get up and clothesline him <laughs> out of his boots, <laughs> and then hit him, go for the awesome splash. <laughs> well, Mikey Whipwreck hits the Frank and Mikey. That's what Joey Styles says, and a neck breaker for a one count. <laughs> of course. <laughs> And then Mikey hits a top rope missile drop kick for a one count. And he's going to put Mike Awesome away here. He's got the move. He's going to go for a moonsault. Well, Mike Awesome cuts him off, loads him up, and Awesome bombs him to the oh floor. Oh, my God. On the concrete floor through a table. <laughs> Just, just sends him straight to fucking hell, man. I'm pretty sure they use that in the intro forever after that as well. Yeah, if, I, if I'm if i fucking... And he does this, by the way, he does this to Spike Dudley for like... They face, I don't know, three, four times. He yeah. fucking throws his ass out here to this table <laughs> every fucking time. And the match like starts most of the time that way. With this, that, yeah. yeah, this is like legit one of my favorite spots like ever, I think. It's all, it's the awesome, awesome bomb to the table. Yeah! yeah. 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 This is shit, man. Come on. Dude, like, what's cooler than this? No, dude. He is like, uh, and I was talking about Sandman. Mike Awesome is like a wrestler to me. God damn it, man. This guy can't exist anywhere else. What else is he going to do? No fucking He's going to be the fat Mike chick awesome. thriller. Oh, great. He's going to be that 70s. Come on. There's a lot of things he could be, oh, right? Great. No, he probably should have just kept to the formula. If he did this match every week on WCW TV, Hulk Hogan would have beat him still. <laughs> yeah. <but laughs> no, no, <laughs> man. He would have had his ass for a minute. He took a powerbomb through a table from yeah, Awesome, yeah. though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I forgot about that. It was really Russo that ended this whole thing for, for Mike Awesome. Son so. of a bitch. Son of yeah, a bitch. Yeah, we, we don't forget that either, buddy. Yeah, we and you better answer us about that fucking kind tie thing we asked about. <laughs> with the we, we, need, sword. we got questions and we need answers. <laughs> well, so Mike Awesome kills Mikey Whipwreck. Mikey Whipwreck's laying there dead as Mike Awesome taunts him to get up. Also, the crowd is chanting up, one more time. <laughs> you must feel like a real piece of shit if you're Mikey Whipwreck. <laughs> Just getting beat up the whole crowd's chanting for you to die more. Uh, so Mike Awesome goes up to the top. Stands on the very top rope, puts his arms up and goes, Yeah! <laughs> and does a fucking awesome splash <laughs> and beats him. Yeah, that's the goat, man. That's a title the match, ever. by the way. Yeah. That was a title match. Yeah. He's the best ever, man. I mean, Fat yeah, Hardcore yeah, we, TV, man, I do that every week. I'm like, All right, Mike Awesome versus uh, local guy <laughs> that we brought in. Yeah. yeah. Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that'd be awesome. Yeah, all the holidays. <laughs> Easter, he beats up Jesus. It's an awesome bomb to the fucking floor. <laughs> you can't crucifix bomb Jesus on Easter. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I, I'm sorry. I thought this was hardcore TV. I, I didn't know where we were at. My I bad. This is <laughs> Kurt Angle is pissed somewhere. He does not like that. Yeah, he did not like that shit. So uh, we get a November to remember pay per view rundown here. Uh, yeah, if you don't bootleg, watch this, fuck you. Yeah, that, fuck yeah, that's true. And bootleg Lincoln Park playing over it. I don't know how <laughs> that <beast>. happened. <laughs> Yeah, that card's pretty sweet. Masato Tanaka against Mike Awesome. By the way, Masato Tanaka's on Deadlock Pro Wrestling, by the way. Just oh, so you know, yeah, he's wrestling on our right. show. We didn't DP announce that on this thing either, I don't think. No, no. Masato Tanaka is in a six-man tag, uh, DPW World Strongest on November 12th. He's teaming with Galvin Tegman and Brian Keith, <laughs> yeah. and he's facing Tom Lawler and the West Coast Wrecking Crew. Just so you know, man, and if you don't watch it, fuck you. Yeah, the that's that, real shit, man. Tag, we yeah. run this thing. Let's get it, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is all right there. there. That's real God shit. Damn. Yeah. Hell yeah. November to remember. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Better not forget. Uh, Masato Tanaka against Mike Awesome. Impact players and a mystery partner against Raven and Tommy Dreamer with Tommy's mystery partner. And after what happened on ECW on TV, TNN, which was Taz choking out Sabu. <laughs> uh, Taz challenges for the ECW World TV title as he takes on RVD. Yeah, best of luck, buddy. Yeah, get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we have Tajiri versus Jerry Lynn up next. Yeah, I uh, did not expect this to get as much time as it did. No, I didn't either. Um, I guess because the they had a clear heel and face here, uh, they gave us some time and let them kind of work Tajiri's it out. Jerry's fucking evil here. 
He is an so evil, evil bastard, man. He is he's a fucking evil He's flipping off everybody. Dude. He does middle finger about a hundred times in this match. It's fucking crazy. Dude, he's just spitting on people. <laughs> <laughs> Not even this. Just no, straight up just full, full on spit. <laughs> yeah, Tajiri is with Steve Carino and Jack Victory here. Take it on Jerry Lynn. Jerry Lynn has taped ribs. Ooh. Jerry Lynn's ribs are all fucked up because he can't even this do it. He can't even do the voice because his <laughs> ribs are hurt. <laughs> yeah. This is why the match went so long. He has to get revenge. That, I love this story. So Jerry Lynn, his ribs are fucked up because the Impact players fucked him up at the last ECW Arena show. And just as he was healing, he got attacked backstage <laughs> rib style by Tajiri, <laughs> which re-injured his ribs. Oh, that is damn. so awesome. I, that is fucking tremendous. Yeah, they skip the bullshit too. They get right to the strikes here, man. Yeah, dude, immediately fucking back and forth. Jerry Lynn's asking him to kick him harder, and then he does and kicks him in the ribs. <laughs> yeah, the crowd here is. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> the crowd has a lot to say about the Jerry. Yeah, they, uh, um, and you it's know, not so good. The crowd wasn't as good as I thought at the top here. Yeah, apologize yeah you got you got to take the bad with the go with ECW. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, it's of course, yeah. how it is. Sure, um, yeah. But Tajiri does get the tarantula, and the 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 crowd like on Bob. the left side loves it. The crowd on the right side <laughs> fucking hates this guy. There's like a Tajiri hates section, like right to the right of the fucking rover, and they're heckling the shit out of him the whole match. Dude, it's like yeah, you're right. It's a one section just flipping him off, screaming "fuck you." The dude, it's so crazy. This Tajiri hate section is saying "fuck you" Tajiri so badly. The left hand side that likes Tajiri is now arguing with the right side. It has nothing to do with the match. They're legit yelling at the right <laughs> side of the audience here. It's absolutely insane, man. That's also where Tajiri gets after the tarantula. He like still on the ropes and he flips them off and spits. <laughs> Dude, he says "fuck you" too and spits. Yeah, on he him. does. And then he he loads Jerry Lynn and Tria Woe flips Jerry Lynn off, then backs up gorilla style, <laughs> and then baseball slides Jerry Lynn in the face. <laughs> Screams loud as fuck when he. Does. Yeah, he's Tajiri is fucking awesome here. They go to the floor, and one very angry fan on the fuck you Tajiri side is practically falling over people in the. Fr he's not in the front row. He's like in the third row, falling over people in front of him to get to the guardrail to scream fuck you at Tajiri. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking crazy. When they went to when they went to the outside, by the way. Um like he sent Jerry Lynn out and Jerry Lynn like hit Jack Victory in the wheelchair. And as that happens, you see Jack Victory just rolling away in the background. And I think Joyce Dow says, yeah, yeah, you roll away. <laughs> that is funny. Dude, Jack Victory is fucking awesome, man. He's so good. There are so many managers there and first. stuff. There are so many managers in ECW and like they all had like, even if they didn't have like a, a specific character, like if it wasn't like Francine, you know, where who had like right. a very, very specific character. Yeah, yeah. Um, they were entertaining enough to like, it didn't matter, you know. You know, they had personality. Like, yeah, 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 and the crowd either loved to say fuck you to him or, you know, or cheer him, you know, depending on whatever they wanted. Uh, Tajiri fucking grabs a chair and 187's Jerry Lynn off the apron. That shit was <laughs> awesome to crack his it ass open. Was. It was. Yeah, he does. He gets juice off of it. Then Jerry, or Tajiri takes the ring bell hammer and starts grinding it into Jerry Lynn's bloody forehead and then <laughs> takes his belt off his pants and starts choking Jerry Lynn with it. <laughs> This is a crazy some bitch, man. Yeah, it's a good match too. A lot of heat. Yeah, I mean the crowd loves Jerry Lynn and fucking hates the Jerry for the most part here. Lynn eventually counters. He's fighting back. Lynn gets a chair on the outside. The Jerry goes to miss the Jerry Lynn, but Jerry Lynn blocks it with the chair. Goes for a chair shot. The Jerry ducks it and kicks Jerry Lynn. Goes for a brainbuster on the chair. Jerry Lynn floats over. Scorpion death drop for a two. This match is. Fucking kicking ass. Awesome. The miss block yeah. with the chair was like the coolest thing ever. Genius. Yeah, was that was genius. awesome. Uh, Tajiri invents the tombstone backbreaker. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. What the fuck was that? I don't know. I, I feel like he wanted to drop him on his head. He's like, ah. <laughs> That'll be nice today. Yeah. yeah. Lynn eventually fucking kills Tajiri with a cradle pile driver, but Steve Carino gets in and jumps Jerry Lynn. Who then also gets hit with a cradle pile driver. Then Jack Victory gets on the apron to yell fuck you at Jerry Lynn. <laughs> There's so Jerry much Lynn. manager <laughs> shit going on here. There's I like know. nine dudes here. <laughs> Jerry Lynn drop kicks Jack Victory off the apron. Then fucking Jerry Lynn house show dives Jack Victory, gets back to the ring. Tajiri missed Jerry Lynn, then kicks him in the head, and then brain busters him and wins. It was this the red mist, awesome. by the way. The deadly red mist, yes. Yeah, so original was green, and then red mist. Yeah, yeah, he blocked over. the green one, and he had to fucking break out the red one. It's like, that's how you that know is, the match got serious. That's crazy. And then Tajiri, yeah, Tajiri wins, and then laughs, and flips off the crowd, and spits mist into the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I wish you would have missed that one fan that tried to come for the third row. Oh Fuck you, man. Oh, my God. That would have been... He probably would have barked out with the black for mist. It, <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> you know, where's Scooby-Doo attire? Who did he black... Did he black mist Nydia? Was that uh, what he used on her? Yeah, that she went that blind. Made yeah, blind. made her blind, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, then we move on to the main event, which is uh, the impact players of Just Incredible and Lance Storm and the sexiest man in the world, uh, Jason Knight. <laughs> the world's sexiest man, if you will. <laughs> Please, I would, I would take it. <laughs> uh, versus Tommy Dreamer and Raven. Impact players with Jason Knight, Dawn Marie, Dream and Raven with Francine. Everyone's got somebody here. There's man. managers all over the fucking place on this show. Yeah. And, and like it, it very much makes the matches like a lot more like the crowd's more into it because the people are out there, you know, they get to fuck with somebody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They just want the interaction. They want to fuck I mean? with yeah, somebody that's... so bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> they, they like beg for it, man. Yeah. yeah they, get, they buy tickets just to bust somebody's balls. <laughs> yeah. My favorite thing here was uh, Tommy Dreamer comes out with Francine. Lance Storm comes out with Don Marie and Justin Grable comes out with Jason. The sexiest man. The sexiest man. Tiger blood. <laughs> w. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I, th I think based, and I think put the ECW <laughs> title on him, and I think kill the company. Polly <laughs> <laughs> said, I hear you, and I am. I hear you. I hear you. I'm, I'm doing I it. The ting. And I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Best of luck, Lou. You can book. <laughs> yeah. Show now. Here, Tommy, do this shit. Uh, so uh, shit. fucking lots of not dub songs here so that was fun to listen to Unbel dude was there one not fucking dub song here <laughs> no, man, oh, all yeah, dubbed. Man. Uh, it's unbelievable so Raven I guess just recently had come back he came back to ECW and won the tag titles with Dreamer that was at the TNN the Dudleys. Taping, I think. yes that's right yeah yeah Dudleys that's right came back did a favor right wasn't that what happened or they I think the Dudleys leaving. were leaving is they what it was. Leaving. Yeah, they were. Yeah. They were going and they were going to bring the belts with them. And then Raven come back from WCW to help Dreamer, his long life enemy, win the belts with them. So this whole match is pretty much surrounding uh, Raven and Dreamer not liking each other and just fucking with each other the entire match. Can they coexist? Is, they cannot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did that. Dude, at one point, so they're, it's kind of, they're both like going for moves with each other and one of them will walk away. Like uh, Raven grabbed Justin Credible from behind and Dreamer rushed him. Then Raven let him go. So Justin Credible could punch Dreamer in the head and then Raven laughed at him. <laughs> <laughs> so they do this back and forth until. Yeah, by the way, Raven has a taped head because Justin Credible hit him with a kendo stick in the head on ECW on TNN. <laughs> on TNN? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how the hell did he, I guess maybe you think they were trying to do the same thing that like Raven and Dreamer did where they took each other shit with Justin Credible. Incredible and Sandman, like he took with the, the stick, <laughs> and stick and bald. <laughs> I guess Sandman was bald. <laughs> it was very yeah. blonde. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I mean, they definitely did the stick thing on purpose. Didn't work. No, <laughs> they think uh, it killed the company. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know that'll happen <laughs> it, does, it does fucking happen sometimes yeah, yeah. that's true uh so raven uh and dreamer are now arguing raven's like pissed because dreamer didn't help him with the tag move he pie faces dreamer so dreamer responds by getting into the ring and punching raven in the face <laughs> and they, the tag partners the tag fucking champions are fighting now in the ring then at one point they decide okay we're not gonna fight anymore we are going to attack just incredible and landstorm and then all four guys start fighting on the floor this is so goddamn funny. I I watched this fucking like three times. Just Incredible gets loaded up onto a table at ringside. Tommy Dreamer climbs up to the top <laughs> rope to dive onto him. Raven comes up from behind him, pushes him off the top <laughs> rope, and crushes him on the top rope, and then steals the spot. <laughs> Dives on Incredible on the floor. Yeah, that I was, was like, awesome, this is the dude. best shit ever, dude, man. I love awesome. it. I was like, is that fucking Raven that just pushed you? That's awesome. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. It's no spot armpit yeah, dive. The, the first time I watched it, I definitely didn't think it was Raven, and then I had to go yeah, back. I was like, what the fuck? Kind of off camera. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Oh, that was Raven. Dude. What the hell? <laughs> Uh, Raven does the patent it drops a hold into the chair Don Marie gets in the yell at Raven and then Francine gets in and we're gonna have a cat fight but no gets broken up sadly no cat fight here the, of 99 just yet yeah just give it like 60 more seconds <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh yeah well Dreamer and Raven both counter Irish whips and hit stereo DDTs and go for the cover the Don Marie comes Raven effect double style yeah, that's the even flow. 
DDT. <laughs> Ray was like, oh, come on, come on. No. That's what he came out to, too. No, come on, come on, no, come on, come on. no, he did not come out to call, call. Go, 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 Don't he, he didn't fucking come out to that, Tony. Yes, he did. <laughs> 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 yeah. Dude, hell yeah. Double Raven effect? That shit was hot, uh, man. The crowd that's was chanting Raven That's not even on the version. That's not even on there. What the fuck? They don't chant Raven effect. What the fuck? You were probably watching the Peacock version. I was watching the actual real shit. No. To me and Tony watching the real shit. In Philly. We were watching it in Philly. You were watching the Philly hardcore TV. I turned that shit on you. That's how my TV antenna going crazy left and right. I got that shit. You ain't never seen it like that. Fuck you guys for real. Well, they hit the fucking even flow double style. How was uh, that? Incredible. The DDT. <laughs> is that new? The is even that new? flow DDT. Oh, man, this guy's getting move before. name wrong. That's weird. Well, they they go double covers he here. Don Marie. <laughs> Don Marie. <laughs> is it cat fight time? Cat fight? Gets it, 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 Tony? Cat fight time. Don Marie gets into the ring with a, her shoe and hits the referee in the back of the head, <laughs> which is allowed. So, uh, whatever. Anything's Friends, allowed. Fuck it. I guess so. Francine gets in the ring and talk, attacks Don Marie. The cat fight wars of 99 continue. <laughs> yeah. That shit was awesome, too, man. Dude, they're rolling around and shit. Dude, there's a guy in the front row just very blatantly just trying to get the craziest ass shot of all time <laughs> on this big ass lens. Yeah, man, come on, man. It's 99. What the fuck? You can't even see that shit, man. <laughs> Is flat no flash? Just fucking black picture. Yeah, I can't even imagine what that comes out as. Like that would be crazy looking. Nothing, sadly. Uh, so Francine goes for the even flow DDT. Uh, Don Marie trips that? her. It's the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> it's one Dreamer grabs Don Marie, sets her up for the pile driver by loading her up for it, and then hiking her dress up to show her whole ass. Yeah, Tommy Dreamer style. He did that like every time. He did that to legit fucking everybody, man. Well, Rhino's had enough. Rhino comes in. Rhino says, stop doing that shit. <laughs> you fucking weird bastard, man. Rhino comes in, clotheslines Dreamer, spine busters him to hell, goes to DDT Dreamer, even flow style. But Raven uh -huh. stops him, even flow DDT to Rhino. That's the move that Raven does. I don't know about that. But I'm gonna let you keep going. Sorry, he tries to even flow DDT Rhino, but just incredible hits. Oh, him he tries to he tries to make a new move. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> just incredible fucking hits Raven as hard as he possibly can in the head with a Singapore cane. Then Kane streamer as well. Uh, Impact players do stereo tombstone pile driver, <laughs> tombstone and pile driver to Dreamer and Raven. One, two, and the lights go out. Oh, oh my. Hey. Tony hooked it up, by the way. Tony, I, I did not watch the Peacock version, by the way, so I don't know what it sounds like. Of the whole like show? Looked like. No, I didn't watch the Peacock version of this, so like I don't know. I didn't either. Know what it looks like. <laughs> I didn't Tony, either, what did so. it look like? What did like? Did it dub just music? It was like that things? one uh, that Sandman theme song, not the WWE one. I think it was the DVD one. Where it was like, yeah, sure, okay. Oh wait, it just did that the whole for five straight minutes. Yeah, and then, like, <laughs> and then it has like crowd noises where the guy whistling. You know, you ever hear the ECW? Oh yeah, and there's noise. probably an ECW always, chant behind it too. It's just like. Oh, yeah. I was like, fuck, this sucks. Oh, wow. so I, I went out and found the uh, the Sandman fan cam of the the uh, DVD or whatever. The, what was it called? And re-enter the Sandman. I found the yes. fan cam and took that audio and put it over the Peacock version because I was like, this fucking needs to be seen. Dude, well, I watched wow. the Tony cut, thankfully. It was, dude, it is unbelievable the reaction to this, by the way. I, if they were going to dub it on Peacock, they should have used the New Jack theme, though, by the way. In the ghetto. <laughs> in the ghetto. Yeah. Caw, 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 in the ghetto. The dog. <laughs> I can't watch any New Jack matches on Peacock. It's fucking it's boring. It's ghetto. Five Dude. to seven minutes of in the ghetto. <laughs> New Jack versus goddamn Angel Baldy in Baldi's. the ghetto. <laughs> yeah. Let's get Big it, baby. Crumbs crushing his head every oh, month. Oh, there's a version. Someone has it on YouTube. In the ghetto. In oh the shit! Ghetto. In the ghetto. That's not that one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Dude, stop sending us the beefy. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to know. Hey, the ghetto. In the Hell ghetto. yeah. Dude, this Listen might be the best song. dub song they got. Yeah, this it song probably is awesome. Is in the ghetto. <laughs> in the ghetto. In the ghetto. So the lights are in out. In the ghetto. <laughs> yeah, Tony, let him know. <laughs> lights are out, and then all of a sudden, the spotlight shines on the back of the arena, and the goddamn Sandman is here. The crowd fucking loses their mind. And he's dude. in great is, shape. He looks in right off the incredible. WCW, right? Dude, hot off a of WCW, normal, clean sand, man. <laughs> Making a lot of money, Drug can pay his bills yeah. every month. No drugs. Normally it's adjusted. Go to the gym. <laughs> Nicotine patch, Sandman is here. 
Holy shit. Well, Sandman's here. The crowd's fucking losing it. And our Sandman's playing. He gets on the apron, cracks a beer, beats the shit out of himself <laughs> with it. <laughs> but the, the, the man... That steps up to the challenge first, boys. He had to. He had to. <laughs> He's standing up for his fucking Stand crew. Stand up. At the front line of the fight against the Sandman is the world's sexiest man, Jason Knight. He goes after Sandman. He always got him. He, oh, dude, he had him. He had him reeling. He was about to send his ass packing back to Nitro, but <laughs> yeah. Sandman got the better of him, sadly. He had a weapon. Hit him with a cane. Paul Lee told me to shoot on him, but he just, you know, just failed. <laughs> he told Sandman. Sandman and Jason Knight both that. Yeah. <laughs> Sandman won. Uh, he canes Jason Knight. Uh, Justin, uh, sorry, uh, Steve Carino and uh, fucking Jack Victory come out. They're all trying to hold Rhino back from Sandman because I'm assuming that's what we're going next. And, yeah. Well, you know, that's kind of where it ends up <laughs> at the very end. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, it does. It's Rhino versus die. everybody. At the end. <laughs> I'll kill your fucking family. <laughs> Dude, yeah, no subtlety to Rhino at all. That is a, yeah, You're most so evil badass. bastard. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, yeah, like, aren't you worried about your family? I'll fucking kill your family over there. <laughs> Dude, yeah, like, is this guy a heel? I'll kill your whole fucking family. Okay, I guess he is. <laughs> So Sandman, Kane's Jack Victory, Kane Steve Carino. This crowd is so fucking loud, dude. Like I don't, I don't know if Joey St does Joey Styles commentate any of this. I'm assuming not because no, it's no, unbelievable uh, loud. He, he might on the uh, at the end the actual version, but on the Peacock yeah, okay. version, you know, of course they just have crowd noise. Over did the one you sent the fan cam one? Did he? Oh, I guess that makes sense. You know, never yeah. Well, it was, a, it was a mix of both, but yeah, yeah. Um, no, it's just a fan cam audio, but yeah, I don't know. Oh, the video real... was the Peacock version. Okay, that's right. Yes, the video is the Peacock version, the fan cam audio. I don't know what the actual... Yeah, sure. Can... Might have to watch well, it. It was better it on with no commentary. It, it, it was better with no commentary. Uh, huge fucking welcome back chant. Uh, Raven gets up in Sandman's face and then backs away. He probably said fucking pop was as good as mine. <laughs> and then yeah. backs away. He probably, probably went away to a fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, kid. <laughs> uh, Sandman gives Dreamer a beer. Crowd's fucking still singing Enter Sandman. Dreamer does the craziest blue meanie dance ever. <laughs> oh, dude, a beer. Dude, I don't know what's up with this <laughs> guy. What the hell was that? Dude, he was, if you look earlier, he was like grinding the rope, too. He was he sitting was. on the middle rope yeah, grinding like the rope. he's like laying on between them, yeah. And then he does this fucked up dance with the beard. I could never see him the same after this ever again. <laughs> And uh, Francine chugs a beer too, or you know, attempts to. God bless her. Pretends uh, to actually. The beer's already Sam gone. Sam <laughs> oh, yeah, work beer. Come on, Tony, give her some credit. She's Shadow drinking, beer. Bro. Yeah, that shit was awesome. Yeah. Well, Sandman hugs Dreamer. Crowd celebrates, and the Sandman is back in EC Dub, and he's getting paid less than he was before. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's not getting paid at all. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty sweet though, because like it was. Sandman and then Tommy and then uh, Raven were standing there. It's like this is fucking ECW. This yeah, fucking rules. Let's fucking it was, go. dude. ECW back, baby. And Jason Knight. We're gonna be here forever. <laughs> Jason Knight. <laughs> Jeeves was there probably somewhere. Jack Victory. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine what that feeling was like in that fucking building, man. Dude, like, you can't imagine because like you you have those guys like Mikey Whipwreck and Raven and Sandman sure, all these all returns. Leave. Yeah, yeah. They leave. They leave the company and you're like, fuck, ECW screwed. Like Monday Night War is killing us. Then they all come back and like, fuck. We're back, baby. Let's go. Yeah. I'm sure they said that they had the same reaction for all three of them leaving. Raven, Sandman, <laughs> and Mikey went back. <laughs> <laughs> three of the goods. Hey, he's a former, he's a former world champion. Okay? He beats Stone Gold for the belt. Dude, he's triple You're crown right. Mikey Wibrak, by the That's, way. They did say that. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's unbelievable. Hardcore TV is a fun fucking show, though, man. Like, yeah, it is. It's pretty cool. This is a tight, you know, 50 minutes. Not even 50 minutes, was it? It was a little less. Um, tight fucking show. Fun matches. This is just awesome. Yeah, I'm, I, I I would love to watch more ECW Hardcore TV with you guys because I, I love this shit. So if anyone knows any all timer like fucking crazy like that, there's yeah. angles and stories. We got it. We got it all. Yeah, I guess we can watch and the Mikey Return Whip one Ray too. Got Mikey Whip and Mike Awesome. And Mike awesome. <laughs> That's real <laughs> shit right oh, there, the man. <laughs> Dude, when does what? Awesome leave for WCW? When is it soon after? <laughs> Got to be soon. Yeah. Gotta be soon. Mike Oz, Mikey Whipper came back. He said, "Fuck <laughs> yeah, this I'm shit, out, man. man. I'm not doing this shit again with you." Let's <laughs> hey, see. Yeah, he leaves you, uh, April 2000. It looks like he leaves. Oh, okay. So a little bit, a little bit of time. Yeah, yeah. Not not too far off. But goddamn, yeah. Well, there you go. That was ECW Hardcore TV for October 30th, 1999.